Hey y'all, welcome to the To Your Health Test Kitchen. Today we're going to be doing some organic sprouted green pea pasta. We're going to start off with three cups of this beautifully bright green pea flour. Put that in the bowl. We have six lightly beaten organic eggs. Put that in there. We have two teaspoons of organic sea salt. Get this in the mixer. Turn this on with the dough hook. You can also do your pasta on the countertop. You can put your flour in a on the counter, make a well, put your eggs in there, slowly work your eggs and your salts into the flour. For this application, we're doing this in the, the mixer. It's a little bit cleaner. All right, everything's been incorporated. We're gonna slowly add our organic cold pressed olive oil. Your dough is going to be a little sticky to start off with, but as this incorporates, it's going to start to pull away from the bowl, and once it starts pulling away from the bowl, that's when you know you're ready. We are almost there. As this almost finished, go ahead and get some green pea flour, sprinkle this on the countertop. It doesn't take too, too long. Scrape that off. It's going to be a little sticky to start off with. That's okay. Scrape this out. Because you're going to need this a little bit more on the countertop. Incorporate some more flour. If you have to. Get you some more green pea flour, sprinkle on top, sprinkle it on the countertop. Just slowly work this in. Form this into a ball. You're going to want to let this rest. You can let this rest for a couple hours, or you can put it in the refrigerator, leave it overnight, you can come back the next day, and you can start working on it. So we'll put this over here. We had one that we made earlier today. Set this down, cover that up. You want to cover it up a little bit. If not, it's going to dry out too much. It's going to get that weird little crust on top, and you really don't want that. Right here is going to make quite a bit of pasta. If you want to, you can just portion part of this out, cut it in half, let that rest, or put it back in the freezer. Today we're going to do two different versions of rolling this out. We're going to do rolling pin. We're also going to do a pasta roller. So what we're going to do is cut a small little portion out. Lay some sprouted green pea flour on the countertop. Work it around. Make it thin enough where it'll fit in the roller. My roller settings go all the way up to seven. I'm going to get it the widest we can get right now. We're going to lightly dust this roller with a little bit of the green pea flour. And we got one right there. Made one pass on number seven. We'll go through number six after you lightly dusted it again. Slowly feed it through. I'm going to let that rest for a little bit. Leave it uncovered, it should be fine. 
get another little piece. There we go. I'll come back with this one. Do one more pass. We'll get this one. All right. Now we're going to use the pasta cutter. Two different cutters here. You got a thin one or you got a thicker one. I like to use the thicker one, especially with the green pea. Just slowly feed this through. You got some wonderful, nice pasta here. Save this, leave this out before you put it in a pot of salted boiling water. Showed you how to use the pasta roller. One of my favorite methods, you use a rolling pin. You're going to dust your countertop with green pea flour. Press it out into a disc, get both sides coated, light pressure, roll it out to your desired thickness. For cutting, you really don't want to use your nice chef knife. It's on a hard surface, it's going to dull it really easily. This application I like to use as pizza cutter. You can use a straight edge if you really want nice, even noodles. For this application, we're just going to make very rustic. Get all these separated, and we'll get our pot of boiling water ready. Grab a little bit of this. Put that in there. What I've noticed with the sprouted flour and pasta, it doesn't take that long to cook, especially if it's fresh. It's only going to be a couple minutes. We're not going to dress this too much. We're just going to light olive oil, a little bit of Parmesan, some salt and pepper. Really want to keep that green pea flavor. In the meantime, go ahead and you can get a pot with a strainer in it. Or you can go over to the sink and dump it out into a colander. We'll pull this off. It looks about ready. Careful not to burn yourself. Slowly pour this in. Dump this out. You can see that nice bright green pea color on there. We'll grab our Parmesan. First dress it with some organic cold pressed olive oil. It's a light drizzle. Got some fresh grated Parmesan right here. Put that on top. We have a little bit of our organic sea salt right here. Just a little sprinkle. 